G'day from the Media Centre here at the Bahrain International Circuit and has Max Verstappen won the 2024 championship? Well he qualified on pole tonight, did it easily, well when I say easily it was a quarter of a second margin to Charles Leclerc and then about a tenth to George Russell. If you've listened to any of the press conferences or interviews with any of the top drivers, they've all been asked about Max and the championship this year and they've all just pretty much gifted it to him. Yes, they believe that uh, he has got such a good car and is such a good driver that really they're all just battling for second position. I spoke to one driver about the prospects for the season and he said it's all very interesting until Max starts winning. Now look, he hasn't won yet as it uh, is, what is it, 9pm here local time on um, quali night but he's odds on favourite to win tomorrow. And I think we're pretty much going to see his fourth World Drivers' Championship in 2024. After the race, he was pretty calm, didn't jump about or get too celebratory. Got out of his car, took his helmet off, and then went straight over to his chief mechanic in Matt Keller. Thanked him for his efforts, and I think he was only one or two people away from me, so I was pretty close to the action. And shortly afterwards, he found his trainer, Rupert Mannering, who used to uh, train Carlos Sainz and uh, I walked back to um, the Park Fermo with Rupert and said that you better get used to this and uh, he was pretty smiling. I think we can say that the Christian Horner issue had no effect on Max's driving tonight. There were plenty of rumours floating around the paddock today that there might be some more bombshell information dropped tonight but that hasn't eventuated as at one minute past 9pm. I did have a chat with uh, one of the crew and I, the same crew member that I asked how were things yesterday? And that crew member said better. And I said, how about today? Mm, slightly worse was the response. Christian's wife, Jerry Halliwell, has landed in Bahrain and I'm told will be on the grid tomorrow. Christian was in well early this morning. His PR people were out on that uh, hospitality suite throughout the morning briefing journalists, both on and off the record. Off the record means they can't report on it. And his PR people were saying that there was no way Christian was going to comment on this issue. The PR team and the marketing team have been meeting too to work out what the strategy is going forward for the team. Because as you can imagine, it's had a destabilizing effect on the team and also on sponsors, sponsors like Ford, uh, Visa Cash App, I imagine those companies are well concerned about what's going on. Let's move on to something more positive. Um, Gunter Steiner, great to see him reporting today with RTL. He has a seven race deal with the German broadcaster. He'll be fronting up to those seven races and he was out in the paddock today. They don't actually have a commentary booth. All the stuff that they do is from the paddock. On top of the seven races he's doing with RTL, he's also coming to Australia and working for Channel 10 and doing two private shows. One, I believe, sold out. The other one's still available. Everybody got around him in the paddock yesterday. Uh, Liam Parker, who works for F1, even jokingly came up and checked his pass. Today he was super popular with a lot of kids in the paddock who are um, enjoying their time chasing selfies from drivers and team principals alike. You might remember that going back to 2022, Gunther had a run-in with Sky Sports Germany. It came after a controversial interview in Baku where basically Sky told the Haas team principal that he should stop criticising Mick Schumacher in public and that the other team principals would not do that. Instead, they said he should be giving Mick a hug. And of course, they wanted to see Mick do well. Since that time, he's had nothing to do with Sky Sport, and they're an important broadcaster in a large F1 country. Well, I can tell you that issue has been resolved. The Sky Sports crew sat down with Gunter here at this race, and all has been forgotten. Are there any other races that Gunter will be attending as a TV commentator? Yes, he's going to Miami, where he'll be working with Canal Plus, the French network. Roman Grosjean works for Canal Plus, and uh, Roman's here this weekend, always like having a chat with Roman, he's a funny man. Of course, he has his private pilot's license. Oh, and of course, this track has very special memories for the Phoenix because this is indeed where he crashed going back in 2020, the year that I did not do Formula One because of COVID. Jackie Stewart was here today, uh, leading some tours with Rolex, and I caught him yesterday talking to the Crown Prince of Bahrain, and I, I did like the fact that he took his cap off for him. He tipped his lid to the Prince, who has been very good to me, arranging a couple of those great activities you might have seen on my recent video. Uh, George Russell in Park Ferme, I know I'm jumping around a bit here, uh, I 
was quite amazed because we don't tend to say much in Park Fermi. And George just looked at me and said, we watched your video this morning. I said, which one? He said, the latest one. Oh, very nice. I hope you gave it a like. Nice to know that some of the people I'm talking about are actually watching the video. Will Max be watching tonight? I think he's got more important things to do, but I'm certainly glad that you are watching. Oh, and George, please, uh, no doubt you'll be watching this video. Could you please like and comment? Thank you very much in advance. And Carmen, if he doesn't do it, could you please do it on his phone or laptop? My favourite photo of the day was this one. This is Lando and his dad, Adam, and Adam is a very funny man. He's one of the richest men in Britain, but uh, very down to earth, dresses comfortably. I love dressing comfortably. He uh, gave his son a hug just before I took this picture, or series of pictures, and then they walked uh, together. And it's a great relationship that the pair have. I enjoy both of their company. What other uh, partners did we have? Oh, we had uh, Kevin Magnuson's wife, Louise. She had her two daughters with her in the paddock today. Pierre Gasly's girlfriend, Kika, was with him. She's from Portugal, and one of the best dressed women in the paddock pretty much every time she arrives. Uh, this morning, early, Carlos Sainz was dropped off in a car that I'll tell you about in the Driver's Drove video that comes up next week. She uh, was sitting in the back seat. He and his trainer got out, came into the paddock, and then she took the car and left. Why? Well, it was pretty boring sitting around a track when your boyfriend's out doing F1 stuff. I gather she came back some time later. George Russell arrived with his girlfriend, Carmen, and I did notice that there was a stain on Carmen's handbag. And finally, on the partner front, uh, Daniel Ricciardo's girlfriend was here, that is Heidi Berger, daughter of this man, Gerhard Berger, and the pair were in the hospitality suite at Visa Cash Out Racing Bulls X Alpha Tauri or Alpha Tori, if you're Christian Horner, because he does call it Alpha Tori, despite the fact that the team tells us to call it, or told us to call it Alpha Tauri. Lewis Hamilton was the last driver to arrive yesterday, and he's often the last driver to arrive at the track, but yesterday was 34 minutes prior to the first session. That is very unusual. And he came from the other entrance. Normally, they come from the media centre entrance, but traffic was so bad, he was so late, that he had to park at the other end and make the long walk down the paddock. And what was Lewis driving? Well, you'll have to wait for my Driver's Drove video, which comes out very, very shortly. Along the lines of paddock walks, the drivers are being just mobbed by a group of young kids. It's quite funny, it's like watching seagulls to a chip. And they're often a better indicator of who's going where than we would normally get. But some drivers have woken up to this. Lewis Hamilton was on a scooter last night, as was Fernando Alonso beating a hasty retreat after meeting his press commitments following the second practice session. On a completely different note, heading out to the garage as I was looking at some of the floors, and I'm talking double ORS, not AWS floors, have a look at the Mercedes. They've got their driver's first names and the coordinates of the track that we're at. So that will change for each race. Well, that completes day three here at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Only thing for you to do right now is to subscribe if you haven't done so, and like this video, and catch up with all my other content right here. Thanks for watching, and stay passionate. Shortly afterwards, he's got... Oh, somebody's dropped something. It's a camera. George Russell arrived with his girlfriend, Carmen. Thanks for that.